I meant to record this on 420, but hey, a day later is a-okay. What I wanted to share about 420 is that in 2009, I was admitted to the hospital for toxic shock syndrome. Does anyone know what that is or have you had toxic shock syndrome? I experienced toxic shock syndrome from a tampon. I just so happened to use a different kind and it didn't hold the same type of quality. So when I left it in overnight, I had already gotten sick when I woke up. It was basically shutting down my organs and I didn't know for sure if it was in the tampon, so it just felt like a really bad, horrible, painful stomach flu. And so my partner that I had at the time saw me in bed for probably like a week or two and he saw how sick I looked and so he took me to the doctors and good thing he did because once they gave me a shot to stop the nausea, I couldn't stop throwing up. I was so nauseous, I couldn't even stand up without getting feeling sick like I wanted to throw up. Once we got to the doctors, they gave me a shot to stop the nausea, and next thing you know, I get really dizzy, I black out, basically have a seizure. Then I woke up, everybody's looking at me like hella crazy. And get this, they still sent me home as if I had a stomach flu. So I don't know how much longer from when I got sent home, but I just remember being in the bathroom, not feeling good. My skin was yellow. I was trying to shower and I actually blacked out. Very grateful for my mom because she knew that I wasn't getting any better. So she had already called 911 and I just so happened to pass out um, right when they were about to come into the doors. So finally on 4-20-2009, I was admitted to the hospital for a month. My kidneys were failing, my lungs were collapsing and whatnot, because that's what it does, it shuts down your organs, and they actually saved my kidneys, thank goodness, on Mother's Day 2009. I had two surgeries done because I had pneumonia while I was in the hospital, so much liquid was there, and there was a clot, so I actually have a huge scar here from a surgery, and another surgery down here, um, two tubes they put, they put between my ribs to drain out the fluids. And so what I wanted to share about this is that everyone has their own journey of what rock bottom looks like. Even though this may have looked like rock bottom to my family and my friends, it actually wasn't because I just went back to the party life and continuing to live in codependency. And see, it's because where I was at at that time. So this is a note to take into consideration when it comes to other people that you love and care about. My rock bottom was actually experiencing the relationship after that one where I was at my worst emotionally, mentally, and then I started my journey. So just know everyone has their own timing.